Yeah, Tropical Depression 11 formed earlier today, and it is way out there. You can see now over 2,600 miles away from us, moving to the west uh, pretty quickly. But it is forecast to actually become Tropical Storm Josephine during the day tomorrow. That means winds will get to 40 miles per hour or higher. 39 technically is what gets it to that uh, Tropical Storm force. But right now it's got 35 mile per hour winds moving to the west at 14. And again, it's way out there. Now, the latest forecast from the Hurricane Center, this just came in at 11 o'clock, shows it strengthening the 50 mile per hour winds, 60 mile per hour winds. That would be Wednesday and Thursday. And then look what happens on Friday back down to 50 mile per hour winds Saturday to 45 and Sunday down to 40. They're sheer right in this area and that's what's going to basically keep this thing from getting too strong. At least that's what it looks like now. Plus the modeling actually recurves it anyways. At least most of the models do. And so that's why I'm not too worried about this one. Of course, we keep our eye on all of this, but this is the shear and look what's happened. All this green area that you see here is the shear. So as the system starts to move up and get in the next couple of days, it's not in a, in a very sheared environment. And so that means it will strengthen and that's what the forecast calls for. But watch as we get into Friday morning, you see the shears getting a little bit closer here and then watch as this thing kind of moves up into that area right there. It's just going to start to blow everything off to the north and the east. The center will be basically uncovered from the, the convection, and that's not good for it. Some models even wash it out because of that. It would just be a wave of moisture. So again, I'll keep an eye on it, but this one I'm not too concerned about right now. Josephine would be the next name on the list. Yeah, we're just trucking through those names, that's for sure.